Lord, Bakugo's starting line. All right, so while that is loading up, we'll do our normal thing. Baku goes. Okay, oops. Let's actually finish typing this. Bakugo starting line. All right. Whew. This is actually really sick, guys. Like, honestly, like, this is like super sick. Hero Team wins! Number 11, Bakugo style. A victory of Shigrit. Midoriya emerges with bruises of battle all over. The loser team is fairly uninjured. The winning team is collapsed. Okay? In other words, they lost the scuffle but won the match. This was only ever just training, though. My right swing. Deku was reading me like a book, and on top of that, he came up with a way to beat me. Uh, so he, he took he took the hit, and as he's, he's going like a womb like that, so launching thing, huh, huh? So in short, even though we were seriously going it, I lost to Deku. He's like, ah! so he's losing. Him. Let's go back, Bakugo, my boy. It's time for your critique. Bring. To the bring to the nervous. I know. So we've got mini convey bots. No matter whether you won or lot or you lost, you take one look back, you reflect on the experience, and you move on with your life. So Buck go, he's gonna be pissed about this. Monitor room. Hmm, I'd say the best the best in this match was young Eda. What huh? But weren't the weirds a Chaka or Chaka and Midoriya? I wonder why I could possibly think so. Who knows why? Yes, all right, Sensei. It's because Ida was the one who adapted the most to the situation. Okay. Having watched the fight, Bakugo's behavior was clearly driven by some personal grudge, and thus totally arbitrary. Furthermore, just as he told us earlier, Sensei, a large range attack in an indoor Arena is just idiotic. The same reasoning goes for Midoriya. Uraraka's game got loose halfway through. Halfway through. And her final attack was too reckless. Okay. We were treat, treating that paper mache thing as an actual nuclear weapon. So that kind of attack wouldn't have flown. It would devise a counter strategy against an opponent. Because he correctly su supposed... The match would resolve around the core. While he was too slow in reacting to that last attack, I believe the hero team's so-called victory is being too nice in calling this just training. And that gets dangerously close to skirting the spirit of the rules. And there was like, huh? Holy moly, holy moly, she said it well. But, but young Eda might also have been a bit too stiff. But correct answer, hee <laughs> hee! We should always start our studies with what with what's familiar, and if we don't cheer each other on wholeheartedly, then we'll never become top heroes. Recommended freshman one, Yao Yao Yazuru Momo. Okay. Okay. So we've got, we've got the next. The second battle began in a new arena. Hero team B versus the villain team I. Ojiro, I'm getting a little pumped. Okay. Oh sure, I'm getting a little pumped up, so I'm going to take off my gloves and shoes too. Huh? Wireless transceiver. Huh? Okay, as an invisible person, that's definitely the way to go about things, but as a girl, that's logically going to be a... Hot? 
Okay. So I got an invis invisibility go. All right, so what's going on? One of them, one of them's on the north side on the fourth floor. The other is somewhere on the same floor. Yes, barefoot. Shoji Mezzo, quirk replacement arms. Is the invisible one planning to ambush, ambush us for the capture? The tips of his tentacles can replace parts of his body. This will get hairy, so go outside. They intend to make this a defensive game. Okay. This won't be too much for me. Ooh, alright. So it looks like he's, he's ice everything. You can take a step if you like. Do be aware, however, that peeling off skin off the sole of your foot doesn't look good for your bit doesn't look good for your ability to fight. He made sure his comrade didn't get caught in the attack, and he refrained from damaging the core. He even weakened his enemy's position. He's something else this one. Ow, 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 ow. Hero team wins! My fault. Heat? The gap between us is just too big. Recommend freshman number two, Todoroki! Quirk, fire and ice. His right, right side freezes, he left, his left burns. His attack range and temperature, attack range and temperature unknown. What a monster. All right, so we've got Bakugo just watching. We've got other people just, we've got people moving and doing their things. Good work, everyone. Apart from young Midori, there were no big injuries. Nevertheless, no holds were barred. For your first full training exercise, you all did wonderfully. Okay. Such an honest lesson right on the heels of Aizawa Sensei's. Kind of anticlimactic, if you ask me. Honest lessons also fall in line with our freedom here on campus. Now then, I'm going to share that critique from earlier with young Midori. Change clothes and return to the classroom. Wow, is he in a hurry? All Might's pretty cool. So he's taken off. Buckle girl, my boy. A clump of self-confidence. An inflated heart is a fragile one. As a teacher, I need to give him some counseling straight away. But at the moment, I'm near out of time from doing the lesson. Shit, so he needs to go. There's been no time at all since he entered, and yet this is his third time here. Why didn't you stop them, All Might? I apologize, Recovery Girl. Don't apologize to me. It was only yesterday he suffered crippling exhaustion. I can't treat him or treat him all at once anymore. I administered emergency first aid and hooked him up to an IV. And now there's no other option apart from revitalizing, revitalizing him gradually over the whole day. Okay. For crying out loud. This is, the, this is the disciple you granted your power to. And that's why you shouldn't indulge him. I have nothing to say in my defense. I wanted to understand his feelings. And I hesitated. And, uh... Let's not be too loud discussing one for all. I mean... Yes, yes, I know, Mr. Natural Born Hero. Mr. Symbol of Peace. <laughs> this true form of mine and my injury are com a common knowledge among the pro teachers of UA, but the nature of my quirk is known only by you, the principal, a few of my closest friends, and Midoriya, of course. So as though I'm itching to rest my laurels at the top, is really all that it is it really all that important to be a natural born hero or a symbol of peace? Without such a symbol, the society of superhumans would fall to evil. Okay. Such is the responsibility of the one who holds this power. If that's the case, then you need to learn how to be a proper guide. How to be a proper guide to him all the more. Okay. So we're going after school. I'm going to get bound up by his other son. Oh, hey, we're doing a nice job back there. So, well, I couldn't hear what you were saying, but that was some... He did stand off, man. He talks like a champ. That first night was so intense. You know, it fired us all up. So everyone's like, "Wow!" Everyone's going nuts. Yo, yo, I'm Kiri Schumann. Ariel, we were just finishing up our review meeting about the exercise. Hi, I'm Ashita Mina. You dodged him really well. Hey, I, Asui Su Suyu. But call me Suyu, okay? 
Hey, uh, Sato, Sato here. Huh? Pipe down. Hey, Uraraka, wanna go out to eat? What sort of food do you like? Rice cakes. Stop sitting on the desk. Stop this instant. Nothing shakes your convictions, huh, Ida? Alright. Huh? Teku, you weren't. Are they not healed yet? Ah, uh, don't worry. This is just because my physical strength is a bit sapped. More importantly, Uraraka. Okay. Everyone stopped me, but he'd been silent since earlier, and he headed home. Kachan! Eh? I haven't even told him. This is all I think I need to tell you. My secret, that is. Okay? You eagerly waited for... Okay. I obtained this quirk from somebody else. Okay? No matter what, I can't tell you who, but I swear it's true. Even if it sounds like a story out of a comic book. In addition, I still can't fully use it the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. To borrow power, I can't make it my own. That's why I tried to win without using it. But even then, in the end, I couldn't win. And relied on it anyway. I'm still nowhere near strong enough. And so, one day, I'll have it, I'll have made it properly my own power. And then, I'll surpass you by my own power. I only came to say I hadn't been deceiving him, so why am I telling him all of that all of a sudden? What the hell? What the hell is that? Borrowed power? I don't get it. What the hell are you trying to say? Did you come to make it even bigger for me? Huh? Even if not, then so what? Today you beat my ass, clown. That's all there is to it. That's all. And did you get a good look at that ice guy? I thought... I thought he was nothing before. Fuck. What? That pony tall... That pony tall bitch said really sunk in. Shit. Go do it! Hey, you too, Deku. From here on out. I, from here on out. You, you listening? I'm going to be number one. And don't you dare get the idea that you'll ever... Beat me again, fuck. So he's taking off. Baku, go? So he's, he's heading off. My boy! I'll tell you this once. Self-confidence is indeed a vital thing. And you're not mistaken that you have a talent befitting a pro. From here on out, you can climb even higher. The go me all my I can walk. What's this? I didn't tell you before, so allow me to correct that. I'm gonna surpass you too. I'm gonna vault over you as top hero. You sure told me. Oh, okay. Teaching is difficult. Kachan's fuse has been lit. I'm still just chasing after him. In a way, things haven't changed. Okay. A few days later, we would come to face that that threat to which all might alluded. Okay. Have you seen this? He's become a teacher. Hey, what do you think would happen once the symbol of peace got snuffed out by villains? The terror of the truly diabolical masterminds. Ooh, and that is the end of chapter 11. Nice.